Hello everyone, just here in the kitchen peeling carrots and I got thinking one of the key things, key aspects of being fully charged all the time is being aware of that voice inside your head. We sometimes call it self-talk, but very often times that little voice inside your head, it runs unconsciously. We're not always aware of what it's saying. So I'm going to challenge you today and start being conscious of what you're hearing from your voice. Is it saying, yes, I'm going to be late or, or I wonder where my wife is or why isn't she home now or I hope the car is running okay or, or I hope she doesn't get a flat tire, all these all these negative, low mind things. Be aware of what you're thinking all the time. That takes conscious effort. If you be conscious of your mind all the time, or most of the time, after a while it becomes controllable. And you become a recharged person most of the time. Now how can you be positive all the time? You can't. There's things happening all the time uh, that, that bombard us from external, that shift our minds and cause us to think not so good. Maybe pessimistic. Maybe doubtful. We worry about things. What if you started rethinking your worries? Am I going to run out of money before the end of the month? What would happen if I do? Well, I've never had that happen before. Then why do you think you're going to have it happen this time? Well, things like this. Uh, uh, what, if, what if my car gets a flat tire? Well, have you ever had a flat tire? Yes, once, maybe five years ago. Then what are the chances of you getting a flat tire today? Very slim right? So why worry about it? It's going to snow today. Uh, there's a blue sky out there. What are the chances of it snowing? Well, a storm could blow in. Yes, but a storm may not blow in. So let's pretend it's not going to. Unless, of course, there's a big black cloud that's coming in. Let's be reasonable about this. But why worry? Why be stressed about something that hasn't even happened. It doesn't make sense. Think about it. And statistics show that very often these things don't happen. Think about it. Keep an eye on that little voice in your head and start monitoring it. What is it saying to you today? One of the exercises that I've done in the past to help me with my mindset is as you become conscious of what you're thinking, write it down. What am I thinking about now? And if you take a piece of paper and you carry it with you all day and you stop yourself maybe once an hour and start seeing if there's a pattern. Because one thing you can do is when you start monitoring it and recording what you're doing, then you can go back and make some changes. If you recall another video I did, the, the process of change starts with acknowledge. Acknowledge that here you are and you can change things. Then number two is become aware. Become aware of what you're doing, what you're thinking in that moment. And number three is Take some action. So if I'm thinking or I'm worried or I'm stressed over something and I've written it down, now what can I do to change that? Again, analyze what you're doing and take some action. Well, I'm going to, maybe the action is repeating some positive affirmation. Maybe the action is playing some rock and roll music to get your mind off of that issue. 
and maybe the action that you need to take today is dancing in the kitchen. Whoa! Do you like to dance in the kitchen? I do. Especially when I'm old in the kitchen. Whoop. Get some energy up. That's all we take. You see, one of the things about recharging is physical motion. If you're dancing in the kitchen, it's pretty hard to feel hum drum and down. So maybe your action is calling a friend and discussing it. Maybe your action is sharing it with your, your partner and, and talking about it more in detail. Whatever that action is, it will cause you to shift that narrative and causing a, a different result. And of course, the last A in the process is to be accountable. And if you can be accountable to yourself by writing it down with the results, or you can be accountable to somebody else, maybe a good friend, and say, hey, yesterday I had a really good day because I was more conscious of what I'm thinking. I pushed the negative out of my mind and brought in some good thoughts, some thoughts about the vacation we're going on, my th thoughts about maybe a show that we're going to see. Thoughts about somebody we're going to visit. Maybe we're going to go to the bar and watch the hockey game. Thoughts that get you excited, lift you up, and make you feel more fully charged. So these are things that you can do to bring yourself up when your little voice inside you needs to be pushed away. I hope that helps you. And thank you again for visiting the Recharge Room. I think it's time to cook my carrots. What do you think? Pot's half full? Or is the pot half empty? You tell me. See you next time. I hope you will join us at the Recharge Room. You can help me spread this message to other people. To recharge other people. To build a community of recharged people. If you would just click on subscribe and like my video, that will really help build our community of recharged people. Won't you help today? Thank you. And thank you for joining us here at the Recharge Room. Take care.